So how many grams of lithium hydroxide needed to remove 500 liters of CO2 at 25 degrees Celsius? Uh, then down below it says 2 lithium hydroxide uh, goes to CO2. Um, so one of the first things you should notice is that it's talking about two different compounds. It's talking about lithium hydroxide and CO2. So if it's talking about two different compounds, you need to have uh, two compounds. You need to have a mole to mole ratio. Remember mole to mole ratio is the coefficient. So the number in front, since there's no number there, that's gonna be a one. So for every two moles, of lithium hydroxide, there's going to be one mole of carbon dioxide. Also, notice it's talking about two different compounds, but it also has liters in the problem. Whenever it has liters in the problem and two different compact compounds, you're going to have to do uh, molar volume. So two compounds and says liters, you're going to have to do molar volume, and our molar, molar volume, remember this is a constant, so it's going to be 22.4 liters for every one mole, and we're going to look in the problem, find out what is in liters, so it's talking about grams of lithium hydroxide, so it's not lithium hydroxide, you need to remove 500 liters of CO2. So it's CO2 that is liters. So it's one mole of CO2 and 22.4 liters of CO2. It's also important to know that this is at STP. So now we got two conversions. Uh, notice it also said how many grams of lithium hydroxide. So it's talking about a mass. Whenever it's talking about mass, find molar mass. And that's just on your periodic table where you'll find the atomic mass of lithium, add it to the atomic mass of oxygen and the atomic mass of hydrogen. Um, I have it up here. If you do not know how to do this, you need to watch a different video to see how to find molar mass. Our last conversion factor is going to be, notice how it says a temperature, it says at 25 degrees Celsius, this temperature is not at STP, so what we're going to have to do is 273 Kelvin, which is at STP, because Kelvin at 273 is STP, and then we're going to have to take this 25 degrees Celsius, convert it to Kelvin. Remember to convert it to Kelvin, we're just going to add 273, so if you add 273 plus 25, you're going to get 295 Kelvin. Sorry, 298 Kelvin. 25 plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. So that's another conversion factor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start my problem. And I'm going to start with what I underlined. And I'm going to work this problem until I get to what I circled. Because uh, this is your given. This is your unknown. So we're going to start with 500 liters of CO2. Real quickly, I'm going to label these. One, two, three, four. You do not need to label them. It's just, I like to. So based off of these four, we're going to look for the conversion factor that has liters of CO2. Notice conversion factor number one has moles and moles, not liters. This has liters of CO2. On number two, that's exactly what we want, but we want it in the denominator because we want to cancel out our liters. So I'm going to put number two, but I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put 22.4 liters of CO2 at STP on bottom and one mole of CO2 on top. So this gets rid of liters of CO2. Notice we keep our at STP because we'll get rid of that later. I also used conversion number two, so I'm going to cross it out. Now I need to get rid of moles of CO2. So I'm going to look at all my conversions. Uh, look, number four has Kelvin and Kelvin. 
grams and moles of lithium hydroxide. Number one has moles of lithium hydroxide and moles of carbon dioxide. Notice how moles and moles of carbon dioxide match. So we need to use this conversion factor, number one, and we are going to just put it in how it is. So moles of CO2 cancel out because one will be on top, the other will be on bottom. Moles of CO2 cancel. We've used conversion number one and two. Now we're going to look at conversion three and four. Uh, we're wanting to use the one that has moles of lithium hydroxide. So if you look at number three, it has moles of lithium hydroxide in the denominator, which is convenient because we have moles of lithium hydroxide on top, so we want it on bottom. So we are going to use... Uh, one mole of lithium hydroxide on bottom and 23.984 grams lithium hydroxide on top. Our moles of lithium hydroxide cancel out. We are now in grams of lithium hydroxide. Notice that is what the problem wanted. It wanted grams of lithium hydroxide, but we also have this conversion factor that's left. Okay, this is probably the trickiest one, but notice we did not cross out this at STP. Notice it has Kelvin at STP on the bottom, so we actually want the STP to go on top so they cancel out. We are going to put 273 Kelvin on top at STP and 298 Kelvin on bottom. What's going to happen? is our at STPs cancel, but notice our Kelvins also cancel each other out. There's one on top, one on bottom. We're still left with grams of lithium hydroxide. Now what we're going to do in our calculator is we're going to multiply all our numerators. So I'll take 500 times 1. Then I'm going to take it times 2. Then I'm going to take it times 23. 0.984 and then times 273 then divide it by 22.4 divide it by 1 divide it by 1 and then divide by 298 this will get you an answer of 980.89 grams of LiOH, lithium hydroxide.